This is Tenontosaurus, a plant-eating dinosaur that grew up to 23 feet in length and weighed over a ton. Tenontosaurus is known for its large, long tail that was thought to be used for balance and to help defend itself from predators. We're gonna go through the subspecies here. This is the male Teleti. This is our second subspecies. I'm not gonna butcher the name. The third species, our fourth subspecies, and back to Teleti. And let's look at the female skin right quick. It's kind of just lighter and the pattern is slightly different. But other than that, it's going to have the same subspecies. We're gonna go through the calls right quick. Here is our broadcast. Here goes our two call. Cute. Threaten. <laughs> he has a little hop there. <laughs> it might just be the IK system. Four call. Talk. Shake. Stretch. Oh, big stretch. Look around. Mystery. Okay, so grazing emote and mystery number two. Oh, like a tree eating emote. Okay not bad not bad all right all right and here is our baby model she's really cute we got the pink and green skin going on i love it let's go through the calls right quick here is our broadcast oh the sound was a little delayed there to call mm, the baby calls are a bit delayed threaten Or call talk shake stretch oh look at him big stretch look around mystery one a little bit of grazing. And mystery two is just a bit of tree grazing. It's really nice once we have those in game. And let's check out the animations. Here is our walk. It's kind of like a slow trot, nice run. And then our actual run. trying really hard i love that let's see if we have a jump we do let's see if we have a crouch we do and our crouch walk very sneaky tenno okay and let's have a seat Oh, uh, he had a little wiggle as he was going down. Cute. And then our sleep. Here we go. Our little guy right here. Then our get up animation. All right, looking pretty good. And that's gonna be about it for the baby models. Now here's our adult model is looking really great. I love the default skin so far. Uh, let's go through the animations. First up is walk. Looking pretty good. Run. Much slower than the babies. Now we're gonna see if we can still jump. We can. Pretty good. And our crouch, a crouch walk. Still a little bit slidey. Very slow though. You aren't going anywhere fast like this. And let's take a seat. 
You're looking pretty good. And let's sleep. Loving it, loving it. Then we're gonna have our get up animation. Perfect. We have a disturbed burrow animation. So I figured I'd show you guys that anyway, even though we can't really eat it. We're just gonna show off the precise movement. Here is our turn in place. It's pretty fast, actually. Here's our back. Left side shuffle. Right side shuffle. We'll be doing pretty fine. Right, here's our drink animation. There we go. Here's our pickup animation. Like that, and carry. Looks really good. All right, and here is our eating animation. Yeah, pretty much what you would expect. All right, and we're gonna take a look at the skins right quick. This is our default skin. It's really pretty, I like it. And then we have Kaylee. Antelopa, Costalis, Antica, Okapi, and Planeswalker. Yeah, I think the default one is definitely the best. Okay, let's look at the abilities right quick. We have our head slot, we have a bite, causes medium damage, and then we have a headbutt. Then for our senses, we have standard, which is no positive or negative effects. Then we have speed, so plus 5% speed, minus 10% defense. Defense, plus 10% defense, minus 5% speed. Then we have plus 5% attack, minus 10% defense. Then for our front limb, we have rend, a claw attack that causes bleed, which is pretty good. For our metabolism, we have fungivore, able to eat berries, mushrooms, and minerals, lowest health regeneration, so like salt, basically. And then we have forager, able to eat flowers, nuts, roots, and fruits with a faster food drain. For our hides, we have standard, and then we we have thick scales which increases your armor by 15% we have resilient scales which increases bleed and venom healing by 30% and then we have lightweight which increases your speed but you lose turn radius and defense then back limb we have rollover rollover to entertain heal from venom and bleed 15% faster for 30 seconds wow that's interesting. I feel like that would hurt in real life. Then for our tail, we have tail slam, a tail attack that slams the ground and causes high damage. We have paddle, which increases swim speed, swim turn radius, and oxygen. And then we have regular tail attack that does light damage. And we can have two of these in the same slot. And then for our voice, we have stampede, increases the attack of all hadrosaurs in your group within 30 meters for one minute, able to stack up to four times. And then rallying call, a call that increases the defense of all party members within 30 meters for one minute. All right, we're going to go through our animations right quick. Here is our first one, bite. Pretty quick, pretty easy, it's very standard. Then we have rend. Ooh, looks like some thumb attacks there. Then we have headbutt. One more time, headbutt. Pretty good. Next, we have tail slap. And one more time. Pretty good. Now we have tail slam. One more time. Tail slam. Not bad. And now we have roll over. This is supposed to give you healing from venom and bleed. Very cute. And it looks like the voice calls can only be used in a group, which I don't have, unfortunately, so I cannot show you the animation, but I'm pretty sure it looks really cool. But that's about it for Tenontosaurus. If you like this video, definitely check out some of my other videos. I cover a lot of different mods and other games that you might be interested in if you like Path of Titans. So once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.